If you wanted to visit Cuba, you may want to go soon. A number of reports suggest that President Trump will soon announce the end of the diplomatic ties and travel practices that President Obama put into place, and that could have a big impact on the Bay Area economy. News Channel 8's Jeff Patterson joins me now from the Tampa News Center. And Jeff, this could not be very bad for local businesses, right? Yeah, good evening, Josh. You know, I traveled to Cuba just after President Obama announced he would reopen diplomatic relations and ease travel restrictions. Now. Many are worried that President Trump may reverse all of that, and it may happen very soon. When President Obama eased travel restrictions to Cuba, American tourists flocked to Havana, releasing a pent-up desire to see the country before it changed. We traveled to Havana again in February of 2016 with Congresswoman Kathy Castor and a congressional delegation. We were in Cuba when the historic agreement was signed, finally allowing daily commercial flights from the U.S. to Cuba for the first time in 50 years. The new rules have opened tourism and business between Tampa and Cuba, but now there are new questions. Which way are we going? This morning at the lecture series Cafe Con Tampa, small business owner Frank Reno asked Congresswoman Kathy Castor if President Trump will soon return to the Cold War with Cuba. So I think we are somewhat at risk. Reno has taken tour groups to Cuba for more than 20 years and had his best year ever last year. But all of that could soon change. If he goes back to the severe restrictions on travel where there must be written specific licenses, chances are that will hurt my business. Congresswoman Castor told me people like Frank Reno and business at Tampa International Airport will suffer if the president returns to previous policy with Cuba. But the ripple effect that that would have would hurt jobs, people would lose uh, opportunities, small business owners would find it more difficult to build relationships, but mostly it will hurt the families. Yeah, Tampa International Airport has the second highest number of flights from the U.S. to Cuba right now, behind only Miami. No one is sure right now exactly how much the Obama reforms President Trump may roll back, Josh. Jeff, if this new relationship with Cuba is good for business, then why would the president even want to change that? Well, Florida Senator Marco Rubio and others are urging the president to take a hard line against Cuba until Cuba agrees to human rights reforms and other changes. But many believe that didn't work for 50 years, and it won't work now. All right, Jeff Patterson, live for us at the Tampa News Center. Thank you, Jeff.